dessert has arrived. It's about to get delicious. Are we really going to do an intro with this giant box in front of us? Yes. What's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos. We do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. I'm trying to not laugh because I see our monitor over there dun, and dun. Rachel's head just going down. Dun, 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 dun. I got a little shark thing going on today. Dessert has arrived. There is a giant box of ice cream in the middle of our table. Are we adults? I think so. Is that an adult thing? This isn't a good adult thing. Are you ready? of ice cream. I have no idea what's in this. Okay. So we got this box from I'm Enlightened. ice cream. Now, we are not affiliates of Enlightened. We don't make any money if you buy Enlightened. But we do like Enlightened products. And if someone says, I'm going to send you a big box of ice cream, we're like, yes, thank you. Yeah. Now, we, I believe we have a coupon code. I'm going to leave that down below that gets you some money off. But again, we don't make any money if you use that coupon code. No. It's just kind of like Ooh. we'd ask them, can we have a coupon code for our subscribers? And they send this to us. The only compensation we get is we get to try the ice cream. I wish they made a shirt out of this cold stuff. Let's turn this I around. would wear it. So, I don't even know what's in it. Well, that's that's just the sheet. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff in this. Ooh. Oh, it feels so nice and cold. Okay. Oh, poor Anthony's not here because... He loves dry ice. There's a giant box of dry ice. He absolutely loves it. Don't touch dry ice with your bare hand. There's more dry ice. Uh-uh. Right on the floor. No, I have boxes down there. Okay, thank goodness. Okay, here's what we got. Wow. We've got mini cheesecake. What is this? What? This is just regular mini cheesecake. These are cheesecakes? This isn't even ice cream. This How is cool is this? Caramel chocolate cheesecake. What? Chocolate cheesecake. They're little desserties? Strawberry cheesecake. Oh my gosh. Pumpkin cheesecake. Pumpkin. Then we've got Cookie dough bites. Oh my god! We got snickerdoodle. We are not trying all of this today. Oh, I just got sad now. Fudge. How cute! Birthday cake. Peanut butter. So they're like little balls. 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 You said balls. They call them bites. I call them balls. And chocolate chip. Wow. Okay. It's like a whole new line of desserts. So we got a whole new line of desserts from Enlightened. I'm choosing one thing. You choose one thing. I was going to say. I'm choosing birthday cake cookie dough bites. So we at least need to try a bite, and then and then we also need to try a cheesecake. Man, I want to say pumpkin, but... I'm thinking, what is this? I kind of want the caramel too, because I'm looking at strawberry, but strawberry. I, but I feel like this will be like a, a like a turtle cheesecake. So I'm gonna try the caramel chocolate cheesecake, and we're and then we're gonna also try the birthday okay. bite. So we are opening this. I have no idea if you're supposed to be letting this defrost. This literally got delivered like two hours ago. But it's been sitting on the counter, but still packed in dry ice. So it is very cold. It says, keep frozen until ready to use. Refrigerate unopened cheesecake for up to three days if thawed. Do not refreeze if completely thawed. These are cool. So we might be able to try a few of these because these are oh, literally tiny. little tiny yes. bites. So Let's maybe try we'll a try a few of them. Yeah. Okay, so this one is the birthday. Birthday cake. Wow. 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 Well, without that, going into the nutrition. Those taste very cheesecake-y. I'm wondering if these guys taste those similar. Those taste like cookie dough. But we're going to try something. Without going into all the nutrition, trying to not look at all this, a serving size, I'm, 24 of those bites. No, it is not. Yes. Are you serious? 
Okay, I want to. I want to see like regular chocolate too. Okay. So again, if twenty four is in a serving, there's one. What's that? Mm. Oh, it's chocolate chip cookie dough. That is chocolate chip cookie dough. That is. Wow. Wow. Okay, you got to try the peanut butter, and we need to see their chocolate. I thought peanut. we weren't trying all these. No, we have to. We have to. The fact we got to make 20, it quick, though. The fact that 24 in a serving is pretty awesome. Oh, wait a second. Chocolate and peanut butter. I'm going to try the chocolate first. Mmm. It's, it's average. I don't know if I'd buy that. It's a darker chocolate. It tastes good, but it doesn't come off as cookie dough. Are it's, you... Are you talking about this one? Yeah, the chocolate. Oh, oh, brownie dough. Yeah, okay. Know. Brownie dough is gonna change everything. Yeah, I think it tastes brownie. It's it's okay. It's kind of yeah. That's good. Wow. That's good. There's only one more. Might as well. Might as well. We haven't even had a serving yet. YOLO. That's amazing. You're taking too long here. Sorry. He's gotta get his snickerdoodle on. Can't be waiting for my nonsense. Meh. It's okay, but I'm not a super like excited snickerdoodle person. I'm not either. I like cinnamon and, and snickerdoodles okay, but Can't if I'm on that. buying that's it. I know, but I need I'm, one more. I'm buying cookies. I'm if I'm buying cheaper. anything, I'm generally not reaching for snickerdoodle. Me neither. I mean, if they have any other flavor. I think this is. That one's really good. If but you this like, is really good. If you like that birthday cake flavor. But the peanut butter. The peanut butter is good, but like birthday cake flavor is a hard flavor to nail. I think they nailed the peanut butter. Personally. All right, now the only flavor we have not tried is a strawberry. Yeah, so but. So I honestly want to try their strawberry. Yeah, but no, caramel chocolate cheesecake. If you want to try that, we got to be able to try two. See well, do you want to do five things on these before we get to the cheesecakes? Or are we going to go all one giant? Oh, look at this. Now, I I thought that we were having ice cream. Me too. So I brought spoons, but. Let's just take a bite of that and a bite of this. Okay, so we're going to need to let these thaw. They need to thaw a little. Let's do this. Let's pause the video right here. Okay. I'm gonna go kind of put it in the other room where it's warmer. Yeah. Let it thaw a little bit, and then we'll talk about this stuff while this thaws. Room. So let's do uh, five things on this. Five things? Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients, does a keto base on a nutrition label, how does it taste, how much does it cost, and finally, would we recommend it? Number one. Number one, the ingredients. I'm grabbing my favorite flavor. Where to go? Birthday cake. Birthday cake. Almonds. Non-GMO soluble corn fiber, milk protein isolate, erythritol, cream cheese, which is pasteurized milk, cream, and cheese cultures, allulose, butter, natural flavors, carob beaten gum, xanthan gum, guar gum, acacia gum, vegetable and fruit juices for color, spirulina extract, and turmeric for color, salt, monk fruit extract. Overall, ingredients are pretty good. Some people are going to have an issue with the non-GMO soluble corn fiber. Um, for me, it doesn't spike my glucose or anything like that. Some people might, I would say, test it. Almost all of the now keto-friendly ice creams are using it. It's a dessert, yeah. so and it's very sweet. Yeah. I've had desserts that are not sweet. This is a sweet dessert. This is a sweet it really dessert. Is. And it looks like they're pretty much all the all same All the ingredients. same, except for, you know, like peanut butter's got peanut butter. Yeah, so they're got flavored. chocolate. Dutch cocoa for the chocolate flavors. Number two... Does it keto based on a nutrition label? So I'll take this one and I want to grab my favorite one, which is the peanut butter, but it's the only one that I can see that is 110 calories versus 90 calories. Peanut butter. It makes sense. Peanut butter. So for most of the other ones, 24 pieces in a serving, 90 calories per serving, seven grams of fat, four grams of protein, 12 total carbs, three dietary fiber, four erythritol, but what's the allulose? Okay, three allulose. So you're looking at two net carbs, two net carbs, still two net carbs for this. They're all two, two net, net carbs. carbs. Uh, this one's got, these have 13 total carbs. 
Uh, four erythritols, four fibers, three allulose. So 12 total, 12 total, 11 total. This is 11 total carbs, three fiber, four erythritol, two allulose. And I don't think, I don't know if you said it, there's two and a half servings in the bag. Get rid of the it, half. It's going to be two. On. Get rid of the half. Two or three. Two servings or three servings or one serving. Let's say worse. Don't do this. But one serving, that would be a hundred and what? 180, so it's 220 calories. You'd be looking at what about 30 somewhat total carbs, but you'd only be looking at five net carbs. But right. again, we don't advocate net carbs unless it's a dessert thing. But now your total you mean carbs at least are it's a vegetable thing. But your total carbs are like way too high on that, yeah. in my opinion, because you're like at over 30 total carbs. So make it a couple servings. Make it two servings. That's what I would say. Number three. How do they taste? They are stinking delicious. The The snickerdoodle doesn't, it doesn't taste bad. It it's tastes just, like snickerdoodle. Yeah, but like snickerdoodle is the most lackluster of cookies. If you would see like cookies spread out in my opinion and like grandma's baked a bunch of cookies, I'm not reaching for the snickerdoodle. Yeah. I'm literally reaching for any other flavor cookie. With that being said, if you like snickerdoodle, it's on point for flavor. It tastes just like snickerdoodle. I think just neither one of us are giant snickerdoodle fans. But I'm a big peanut butter fan. I do like things. The flavor in this birthday better cake Better birthday awesome. cake. This does taste like brownie bites. This does taste like chocolate chip cookie dough bites. So if you're adding them to an ice cream or something like you're making some keto chow ice cream, you want a couple of little toppers. This is a great topper. Number four, how much do they cost? Okay, here's the thing. We are filming this on Friday, September 25th. They're not being released until the day you're going to see this, which is September 29th. We do not know how much they cost. We've emailed them. We're going to put it right across here on the bottom if they let us know how much they cost. And just like we do not have the price, we do not have today's lotto numbers either. <laughs> I would love to be able to like flash that across the screen, but I don't have that information yet. Number five, would we recommend this? I think these are delightful. I think that you need to be careful with them if you're like me and sometimes triggered by sweet things because they taste like they are not keto at all. Right. But they are the things that I remember eating. Here's what I'm going to say. Would I recommend them like you want a little treat, you want a little something? Absolutely. They taste great. The ingredients are pretty good. They're pretty low calorie. They're pretty low carb, even at the total carbs. I mean, it's a lot of total carbs if you're at 20 total carbs for the day. But again, dessert kind of thing. Right. I think you're right. You have to be careful because this is not a serving and you're going to want to pick up this bag and go, that's a serving. Yeah. It's kind of like, remember the ice cream bonbons? You used to buy that little box of bonbons or that little tub. You're supposed to eat two or three. No. So you're going to really have to almost take a Ziploc bag and divide this up. And, be smart. And be smart about it. Be proactive. And if this is, a, it could be a triggering thing. So just... Be careful with it. Cheesecakes are defrosted. Let's do five things on this. Five things. Five things. Okay, number one is the ingredients. Cream, milk, erythritol, eggs, allulose, almonds, butter, coconut, strawberries, whey protein concentrate, natural flavors, salt, modified cornstarch, lemon juice concentrate, carob bean gum, uh, carob bean gum, guar gum, carrageenan, cellulose gel, cellulose gum, xanthan gum, fruit and vegetable juice for color, cheese cultures, sodium citrate, bacterial cultures, Monk fruit extract. Not thrilled with a carrageenan. Lots of thickeners in yeah. here. I would probably say on a scale of one to ten, I'm gonna give this like a six and a half, seven on ingredients. Yeah. They're okay. Couple of things. I mean, modified cornstarch. Try to avoid it. Sometimes it shows up in like our spices. Like if you go to Buffalo Wild Wings or something like that, we try to avoid heavy cream with carrageenan. Yeah. Number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? Okay, so 180 calories. 220 calories, but everybody else is 210. Okay. So 210 for one cheesecake, 20 grams of fat, five grams of protein. You've got 18 total carbs, two dietary fiber, eight of erythritol, and six allulose. It looks like the magic number is two net carbs yeah, for and, all of their desserts. And they're all like 17 to 19 total carbs. Yeah. So, and by the way, this is a serving. So... It's a fair serving. It's a small serving, in my opinion, at 180 calories and 19 total carbs. But if you go by the net carbs, too. Probably what we should be eating as a dessert size. <laughs> what I, I do, I mean, again, 
at least all of the carbs for the most part are coming from sweetener with nine grams of erythritol and seven grams of allulose. That's 16 of the 19 carbs is sweetener. I'd rather be high sweetener yeah. than high fiber. True. Number three, how do they taste? Which one are we starting with? Um, let me try the strawberry first. Strawberry first. Oh, nice. I had another spoon. Oh, wait, till we can dink it. Oh, gotta dink it. Doop. Dink. Mmm. Fairly tasty. The strawberry flavor is on point. Yeah. I would just buy the jelly. Strawberry flavor is on point. That is really, really good. Yeah. I did mean to say there is a thing on the side because we didn't see it earlier. You are supposed to thaw them. Quick microwave thaw. Remove the lid. Microwave for 10 seconds. Room temperature 20 to 30 minutes. Refrigerator thaw 30 to 45 minutes. So The crust I'm not loving. I think it's just I'm dazzled by that strawberry. The strawberry was on point. So From, let's try this. I honestly prefer cheesecakes without a crust. Because this one is the caramel chocolate cheesecake. The strawberry was just the was the lead. Oh, that's nice. There's chocolate on the bottom. So the, the crust is chocolate. Get a little whipped cream. Mm. It's rich. It's good. I mean. Caramel flavor is definitely coming through for me. Do I like your cheesecake better? Yes, I do. To be honest. But. You want to hand something to your kids though. That's much better. This is good. It is, it's what a serving of cheesecake is supposed to be. I mean, you're going to look at this and go like, oh, that's a tiny serving. Even if you look at our cheesecake, like, I don't remember how many servings, but it's a ridiculous amount. Yeah. I mean, cheesecake is very, very calorie, rich, calorie very dense. calorie dense. It's usually high in carbs because, in total carbs, because of the sweeteners and things like that. This is a good way to control how much you're going to eat. Like, this would be really fun for a kid's birthday party where they could have that kind of like you know, ice cream and cake mixed together and feel like they can choose their flavor or something. That'd be fun. Hey, did you just get an extra flavor? Mm -hmm. Extra spoonful? Okay. That is good. Mm. I like that. I like that. Number four, how much do they cost? Once again, we don't know. When we know, you'll know. We're going to let you know across the bottom of the screen. Hopefully, we do find out. My prediction... Six bucks. That's where I think we're going to end up. Probably that's where we will end up, but it should be five. <laughs> now, what about the bites? Because we didn't talk about what we think the price should be for that. Okay. Again, we'll let you guys know. I'd like to see these at $4 a bag, maybe $5. It's going to be $5, I bet. Probably, maybe even six. They may they make them both $6, but I would pay more for these than I would for these. Okay. Number five, would we recommend these? These ones I would recommend for a kid's birthday party because it's better than having, you know, sugar, like full sugar. I think that you are going to still feel deprived if you bring this along for the holidays, to be honest, because this is what people would do. They would bring it for the holidays and then while everybody else is having their pumpkin pie, you're going to have your pumpkin pie but it's just so exacerbated that it's like very tiny. Right. It's a very tiny serving. I don't think that the ingredients are so clean that you can feel super good about it. I say bring a bag of those bites with you. Okay, I'm gonna go the opposite way. Cause I would recommend this it's based okay for you to on be wrong. a couple things. <laughs> Okay, if you don't mind carrying and if you don't mind having a little bit of modified food starch, like I don't think it's horrible. It's not no. the cleanest ingredients, but it's not super horrible, especially like when you're talking about holidays. If you're truly using this as a once in a blue moon kind of dessert, you know what I'm really going to recommend it for? The person who has a hard time controlling themselves if they make their own cheesecake. For me, cheesecake is super easy to make. We have a recipe on how to make cheesecake. I'll leave a link for that right up here. We have a couple of them, you one with keto chow and one without keto chow. So cheesecake is easy to make. I have a hard time controlling myself because I wanna eat the entire cheesecake. Yeah. So if you just, you want something like, here's your portion, and you know when this is gone, you're done. Number one, you're gonna savor it a little bit more. And number two, 
you're controlling yourself a little bit more. Okay. Well, that's gonna be our video for today. If you like seeing different types of product reviews like this, make sure you check out our entire playlist of product reviews, which you're gonna find right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you're gonna find right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel, hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.